Hey y'all, it's Kristen. Welcome to my channel. Um, I am filming on the floor today because I just wanted to show some of this like bleak, rainy weather we got going on. What is up with that? It's very cozy though. So let me get into what we are doing today slash tomorrow. Um, I'm filming sort of the intro right now, but the meat of everything is going to be happening tomorrow. Um, and the concept behind this is reading three favorite authors in one day. Basically, I, I was getting kind of in a rut, uh, wishing that I was reading more, wishing I was off my phone, off of YouTube, off of all the app games and things that I play and just waste my time with and getting frustrated. And I didn't really want to do a replace my screen time with reading time. But what I usually do a couple times a year is my husband and I like to go camping. And while we're camping, I just read the whole time. I just bring a huge stack of books and I just read through them all. We haven't been able to do that this year because we've been so busy. So we missed our springtime camping trip and now it's getting into summer and it's way too hot for me. I don't handle heat well. And so I thought, well, you know what? Tomorrow's Memorial Day. I have the day off work. I have an entire day. I can do anything that I want. So why don't I just read? Why don't I just read? <laughs> Like what's stopping me, you know, myself. It's like giving myself permission to read is like one of the hardest things for some reason. It's like, oh, I can sit and I can scroll through videos on my phone for hours and I don't have to give myself permission to do that. I just shut my brain off. But reading, it's like, that's something I truly enjoy. And because of that, I struggle to let myself do it. It's like, I'm not allowed to have, fun. I can't enjoy myself. Like, what is up with that? So anyway, the three authors that I have picked out for this are Emily Henry with her newest release, Funny Story. I read Happy Place very recently. Adored it. It was so good. It was so good. So I've got a, um, a reading vlog on that if you're interested. Now, I've already started this one. I'm about halfway, about 185 pages in. So I've already started on this one and I'm loving it. It's great. Funny story is about a woman named Daphne and she's a librarian, a children's librarian, isn't that cozy? Basically is engaged and like right before the wedding, uh, her husband breaks up with her to go marry his childhood best friend. And she ends up rooming with the childhood best friend's ex. And it's about their relationship. Um, not gonna lie, there, there have been some real, like, it doesn't sound funny, but it's so funny. <laughs> like, there have been some really great, uh, excuse you. <laughs> there have been some really great moments, um, with Daphne and it just, she's always so good at like this interpersonal humor that she writes, the conversations, the dialogue, it's fantastic. And I was literally sitting in Starbucks reading this book, cracking up in public. <laughs> It's ridiculous, but I love Emily Henry. I've loved everything she's written. All I've read them all. I adore them all. And um, I'm really excited to finish reading this tomorrow um, as the first book. And then the next author I'll be reading is the one and only Grady Hendrix with We Sold Our Souls. This is the Grady Hendrix I haven't read yet. His uh, fiction novel that I have not read. I've been saving it for a special occasion. So here we are. Um, this is like the older cover art, which I adore. Like, look at it. It's, it's like a Rolling Stones um, cover. So fantastic. The premise is something to do with a rock band. I mean, obviously, right? I'm looking forward to reading this. Like, I don't really know what it's about. Oh, it's set in the, in the 1990s, so. There we go, 1990s like grunge rock. Hell yes. Thank you, I will take some of that. So Grady Hendrix will be the next author. And then the third author that I'll be picking from, um, I've got a couple of her books ready to go and that's T. Kingfisher. So we've got her latest, Thorn Hedge. We've got a couple of older ones. We've got The Hollow Places the twisted ones. So I don't know which one of those I, I might, what I might do is read one of these longer ones and then also read Thornhedge cause it's just so short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, it's going to be one of the Teague Kingfishers. I have read a few of hers before. Um, I've read What Moves the Dad. I've read House with Good Bones. And, oh, N Nettle and Bone, of course. Oh my God, that was my favorite one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I've, I've loved her writing. It's, it's really, it's fun. It's, 
it's funny, it's cozy, it's creepy, it's like a lot of things depending on what she's writing. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading one or two of hers and she will be my third author. So we've got Emily Henry, Grady Hendrix, and T. Kingfisher as our authors for tomorrow. So I am probably going to cheat a little bit, get started today just because I feel like reading, but tomorrow I will be reading all day and it's going to be wonderful. <laughs> so please join me. Hello, just doing a little check-in. We are about halfway through the day. It's like 2.30 now and I have finished Funny Story. So this was really good. I just love Emily Henry's writing so much. Like every book of hers I have enjoyed immensely. I'd say I still don't like this one quite as much as like Book Lovers or Happy Place, but it was still fantastic. So it's like five star, like absolutely so good. We, uh, we went to a little cafe and um, I, I wrapped up reading the last like hundred pages there. And then um, we went and we grabbed some Thai food, had some curry. It was delicious. So now it's about 2.30. I am going to be moving on to We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix. Um, and uh, I haven't started this just yet, um, but it should be really good. I love his writing. I usually fly through his books. So I'm hoping to read all of this today and then also get to T. Kingfisher's book. So, all right, I will check back in. Hey y'all, um, I am checking in uh, since I started up We Sold Our Souls. I'm about a third of the way through, a hundred and something pages in. Um, I kind of, I know I was supposed to like take a break from the phone, not do anything, but I ended up, I get the, like this TMJ thing going on and um, I ended up like getting a, a bad flare up and just like needed to rest and not like hunch over. So I ended up watching some videos and getting some dinner. Um, so I'm trying to cut back out of that, not fall down the rabbit hole of watching a billion videos and just going back to reading. But um, so basically We Sold Our Souls is um, about like an ex metal band um, and the lead guitarist, Chris, um, she is uh, kind of like washed up after like their lead singer like got a big big break and like abandoned all of them and then there's like some implication that like something supernatural is going on like he's he's like monitoring them or something and there's this whole like theme with like this character that they came up with that he's like embodying uh called the the, the blind king and like it, it doesn't make a lot of sense yet <laughs> it's it's just kinda, i'm just along for the ride as of right now um uh i you know the the writing's easy to read um it's maybe not as funny as some of his other stuff has been, um, but I'm also just coming off of an em Emily Henry where I'm like cackling to myself every other page. So uh, <laughs> that's maybe like a tough act to follow in terms of humor, but I am enjoying it. Um, but it's just like kind of a big question mark right now of, okay, what what is really happening here? And what happened in their past? There's like some mysterious thing. They've got this like blank moments in their memory about this like contract that they may or may not have signed. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to some scares. It is a horror book, so um, it hasn't really gotten creepy just yet. It's just kind of there. It's just kind of like a lot of metal themes, a lot of mentions of different songs. I've never really been super into metal music, so a lot of it's going over my head. But I bet it's one of those things where it, like, if you are a metal fan, you would really dig this. That's it so far. Um, I'm going to keep going and check back in later. Hey, so it's after nine, but I just finished We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix. Um, again, not like my favorite Hendrix book, but still really fun. Like <laughs> he's, he definitely has a flair to his writing that's very stylized and very fun to, to read. Um, it had a lot to do with like creativity and like modern living sort of seeping the creativity out of people into soullessness and and consumerism and it was it was good thematically speaking I really enjoyed it and I liked the characters it was it was fun it was just a fun read and that's just like how his books are they're just really fun so I'm so glad I finally took the time to read this so um 
So far I have done half, I, I finished the second half of Funny Story and I read all of We Sold Our Souls today. And because it's late and I'm getting tired, um, I'm going to just tap into Thornhedge by T. Kingfisher because it's like 100 pages. I should be able to knock this out. I don't know what this is about. Um, but I've read a few of her other novels and I've liked all of them. So, um, I'm very curious what's going on in this. So I will get started on it and check back in. Hey y'all. So just checking back in at the end. It's actually a couple days after the day that I did this. Um, unfortunately I got sick, um, towards the end. I had like a lot of vertigo, could not read. I just had to lay down for like three days. <laughs> So it was it was a little bit rough, but I did read both of these funny story by Emily Henry and we sold our souls by Grady Hendrix and I started T. Kingfisher's Thornhedge. Got about 20 pages into this give or take so I didn't get very far before I had to call it quits and just rest. Um, but this is like uh, she's going back into like her um, fantasy, like fairy tale vibe, which is really fun. So I'm looking forward to finishing this, um, now that I'm feeling a little bit better, but let's talk about the two that I did finish. So first of all, we have Funny Story by Emily Henry. This was great. I enjoyed this so much. Um, this follows Daphne, who's a librarian, and she gets out of this terrible relationship where she was about to get married to this guy, and he broke up with her for his best friend, and then his best friend's ex ends up being her uh, roommate, and then they start having a whole thing. First, it's like fake dating in order to get back at their exes, um, and then it starts developing, and they catch feelings. Ooh. <laughs> Um, it's really funny. It's it's heartwarming. It's a great time. I'd say on the scale of Emily Henry books, I've read all of her books, and I would put this below, like right in the middle, basically, like below um, Book Lovers and um, Happy Place, but above People We Meet on Vacation and Beach Read. Um, but that's just that's just me personally. I've loved all of her books. It's not saying that any of them are bad. They're all great. Um, but I put this like squarely in the in the middle, almost like on the upper middle, um, because this was just so much fun. <laughs> um, so that was that one, and the other one was We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix. This is about Chris, who was a lead guitarist in a metal band. Um, and then something went horribly wrong one night. And um, at first it seems like they just like, they had a falling out and the band broke up and it was just like a bad time because the lead singer basically screwed them over legally. Um, and she wasn't able to play music anymore. But um, you start to find out that it's more of a supernatural thing going on. And he basically sold their souls off in order to get his own fame and fortune. Um, and so it, it ends up being her versus like the forces of the world. It's called like Black Iron Mountain and it's great. <laughs> and, um, and, and she's basically trying to stop, they call it Hellstock. Um, it's this like big concert that the lead singer put together. And um, it, it's basically going to like spark the end of the world. And she, it's up to her to stop it. It's, it's a fun thing. It's, it's, it's fast paced. It's easy to read. Um, it doesn't have the same like heart, I would say, that some of his more recent books have had in terms of, so like if you've read My Best Friend's Exorcism or Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, like you'll kind of know what I mean. There's like a lot of emphasis on like the character relationships and like what it means to love another person. Um, so there's not really that, this is really just a fun romp, um, which there's nothing wrong with that. I love a, just a, a quick read like that. This, is, this was great. So I'm so glad I picked this book out. I'm so glad I got to read two of my favorite authors all in one day. This was just so much fun for me. Unfortunately, I got sick at the end of it and couldn't finish the whole challenge, but I really did enjoy it a lot. And I'm going to be going into picking up a lot of romance here because there is a readathon starting today that I'd like to participate in. So look forward to a video on that when I get that done. So thank you for joining me again. We've got three of my favorite authors all right here. This was really fun. So thank you for joining me.
and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and keep on reading. Mm -hmm.